Hi everyone. Um, you might be asking, why am I making a video from my car? So let me tell you. Four years ago today, <clears throat> my wife Denise found me sleeping at the bottom of the steps on the way upstairs. And um, I had been collapsing all night the night before. And I had a foot infection that we had to take care of through telemed because we were in a pandemic and I had changed insurance and changed doctors and I was labeled as a new patient with our new family doctor. Being labeled as a new patient, he refused to see me. Um, we did two rounds of antibiotics and it seemed like it was okay through the course of the infection. And um, we didn't realize that when the antibiotics ran out each time, the infection got a little worse. Um, so what had happened was I turned septic and my organs were shutting down and I had no control of my body. Miraculously, somehow we got my butt upstairs to the sofa, but I couldn't make a bathroom. And my bladder was just releasing. The organs were shutting down. We didn't know at the time, we couldn't figure it out. I started to blank out a lot. Denise calls 911 and they come out and tell her um, as they're taking me away to say her goodbyes that I'm not coming home. And um, she got me dressed in polo because that's usually what I wear. And because I had been basically making a mess of myself, she wanted me to go out with some dignity. And um, they rushed me to the hospital. Priest read me last rites and um, informed me that the only way to save me was to amputate my leg. So I allowed it to happen. Um, and that saved my life. And that's why I'm here. Four years ago today. So the reason that I'm doing this from my car is that for the last three years that this date has come up, I have mourned my leg. Today I'm not mourning it. Today what I'm doing is I'm celebrating the fact that I had a second chance at life. I am sitting in my car. I have started my own business. Delivery 911 named after the guys that saved my life. And anybody needs courier trucking service, get in touch with me. Um, so, uh, going out to see clients. So, you know, still there's a lot of financial hardship that goes with losing a limb and a lot of mental strain, a lot of mental stress. The mental health barrier, I think, is harder than the physical barrier. But at the end of last year, I graduated from physical therapy. I have an incredible leg from the people at Blatchford. Um, not that they gave it to me, but they developed it and they have stood by me. Um, I've been a brand ambassador for Blatchford. I've helped other people on my journey. Um, you know, my leg is phenomenal. Uh, there'll be a video that I'll be reposting in a couple days. The one year anniversary of me throwing my first bowling ball in the big event. Thank you, Motive. Thank you, Genesis. Thank you, Dexter. Thank you, Blatchford. Thank you, most of all, John Horn at Independence Prosthetics and Orthotics that paid for me to go to Virginia to throw my first ball because he bought uh, Blue Ridge uh, Blue Ridge um, Prosthetics um, down there in Virginia, and they had an event to kind of break ground. Um, so many people involved in that. And I really appreciate it and I cherish it. Um, but 
the Blatchford links has allowed me to start to live my life again. And I'm grateful for what they've developed and I'm grateful for that relationship. Um, the fact that I can get information at any time from several resources there and they leave the door open for me. Um, but let's celebrate today like it's a birthday. Um, I'm here, I lived. Um, the artery and vein doctor told me I was this close, I was on this doorstep. And of course, being the red last rites, I'd imagine that's the truth. Um, so I'm celebrating today. I'm going out working and trying to build myself back up. So love everybody that supported me. Denise, thank you for saving my life. And um, I'll be home shortly.